Hi guys, in this video, we will see how to pass data between two Lightning Web Components using Lightning Message Service. Lightning Message Service is used to communicate across the DOM or between two Lightning Web Components which are not part of the same parent-child hierarchy. Let's start with a quick demo. Here we have two Lightning Web Components, the Filter Context Component and the Related Context with Filter Component. When I type some text, let's say young and then click on the filter button this component publishes this text using lightning message service and then the related context with filter component reads this data using lightning message service and displays the associated contact with the name young there are three major steps to use lightning message service the first one is creating a message channel and then publishing to the message channel. Finally, subscribing to the message channel. Let's see how we can create a message channel. In our Visual Studio Code workspace, under the Force app main and default folders, we create a new folder with the name message channels. Inside the folder, we create an XML file for the new channel we need to create. In our case, filter contacts message channel. Next, we see how we can publish data to this message channel. The filter contacts component publishes data to the message channel. Let's see this code. The HTML part of the filter contacts component has the text box and the filter button. In the JS file, we import the publish and message context, context modules from the lightning message service. Then we import the lightning context message channel, that is the channel that we just created. Note the underscore underscore C in the name. Here we wire the message context object to a variable. This message, message context is a context object which has information of all the other Lightning web components which are currently using the Lightning message service. In the handle click function, which is invoked when the filter button is clicked, we get the keyed in data and then we publish it to this message channel. The publish function takes three arguments, the message context, the channel to which we need to publish the data, that is the filter context message channel, and the actual payload. Our payload contains the filter key which the user has keyed in. Now let's see how we can subscribe to this published data in related context with filter component. This is the component which is subscribing to this particular data. Let us see its code. The HTML file has the data table which shows all the associated contacts. In the JS file, we import the following modules subscribe, unsubscribe and message contacts from the lightning message service. Then we import the filter context message channel from the filter context message channel underscore underscore C. Then we wire the message context object to a variable. In the connected callback lifecycle hook, we subscribe to this particular channel. We use the subscribe function to do this. This function has three arguments, the message context, the channel to which we need to subscribe to, and an event listener function, which is invoked when data is available in this channel. In our case, handle filter key submit is that event listener function. When data is available to filter context message channel, this particular function gets invoked. This function takes in the payload that gets passed as part of the channel and then gets the filter key from that. And then we just call a function called load related context. This is a simple function which calls an apex method to load all the related contacts. In our case, the contacts with the name young. In this way, we can use Lightning Message Service to publish and subscribe data from Lightning Message Channel.
In the disconnected callback lifecycle fork, we call the unsubscribe function. This function is used to unsubscribe from the channel. This function takes in the subscription reference as the argument. We got the subscription reference from the invocation of the subscribe function. The source code for this particular video as well as the entire playlist link is available as part of the description. Subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Thank you.